I'm more good enough. All right. Hello, my name is Nick. I'm a physical therapist at Griffin Health Rehab, and we're here today to show you some good golf warm-up exercises. Whether you're at home getting ready to go or currently on the course, we're gonna get you moving around, try and show you some ways to really warm up and get ready to hit some good long balls. So first off here, exercise, we're gonna do a little twisting, trying to get that trunk warmed up. So as you see Matt here, my buddy, he's gonna do some stretching. So keeping those feet planted, shoulder width apart, you're gonna grab your club or anything you have at home, put it around the shoulders and you're gonna do a little twisting back and forth. So what you wanna do is make sure that you're twisting comfortably. Getting the back and shoulders into this exercise here means you're gonna get a little twisting. Keep those hips locked in front of you. You want this to be more of a trunk to the neck and shoulders. Good. Okay, so Matt here is gonna twist back and forth. Feel that stretching as he goes. Okay, nice and gentle, not trying to pull a muscle. Because as you know, this twisting rotation motion is a huge part of getting that powerful drive. All right, next off here, we want to stretch a little bit lower down. Side trunk into the flank as you're trying to get that big swing, trying not to pull a muscle in that backswing. So what Matt's going to do here with the club around the back and shoulders, he's going to twist to the side, trying to bend back and forth to really get that opening of the side of the trunk and then back the other way. So what he's gonna do is try and rotate back and forth here about 20, 10 to 20 times, trying to really get those muscles in the side of the trunk opened up. You wanna feel the stretching through the flank all the way down to the top of the hips. Good, and trying to push as far as it's comfortable. If it starts to hurt, stop there. That's your body telling you that's the limit. Good. All right. So next off, we're gonna work our way down a little bit lower into the hamstrings, the hips, and the glutes. So Matt here is gonna stand up tall, feet shoulder width apart again, holding the club out in front of him. What he's gonna do is he's gonna reach the club down, keeping those legs as straight as he comfortably can, down to the floor, keeping, again, those legs straight, feeling the stretch through the back, into the hips and the hamstrings, and then stand up tall. So this one, you wanna hold it if you can. Five to 10 seconds. We're gonna do this about five to 10 times, really just trying to feel the stretching all the way down. Excellent. You see how Matt here is keeping his chest up? We don't want to aggravate the back in the process. Keeping the chest up really helps you relax these muscles, but stretch all the way through the back and the hips. And now we know why this one's so important. Once you hit that nice birdie ball in the hole, you got to bend down to pick it up. Looking good. Okay. The next exercise here. As you go, we're gonna really try and get these muscles working, really try and get things relaxed. But if you need that final loosening up of the neck and shoulders, so you can put the club down for this one, Matt. What you're gonna do is cross one arm in front of you. So bring your left arm over in front of the chest, right arm underneath, good. We're gonna pull across the body, feeling the stretch all through the side of the shoulders into the mid back. Again, hold this one five to 10 seconds at home, and then let's switch sides. Cross on over. If you don't feel it through the mid back, if you're feeling it down to the lower back, you want to make sure you're not rotating too much. Keep the chest forward, the belly forward, rotate as the shoulder pulls across, but just feeling it through the neck and shoulders. All right. Good. So feeling it all through these muscles, getting ready to go on the course. Excellent. And we have a bonus exercise for you today. So one of the biggest issues plaguing golfers is what they call golfer's elbow or technical term, medial epicondylitis. What happens is as you're swinging through, that arm that's pulling on the back end really gets some strain coming through the inside of the elbow. One of the biggest ways to prevent that is by stretching it. So what you're gonna do here to prevent that is, man, you're gonna hold your arm out in front of you. So your right arm out in front if you're a righty, left arm if you're a lefty. With your hand out in front of you, you're gonna pull back with the other arm on your fingers and palm, pulling it back towards you, trying to keep that elbow straight. Now what you should be feeling is stretching through the wrist muscles into the elbow on the inner side. Again, if it starts to hurt, you wanna ease off of it a little bit, but we're gonna hold this stretch for about 30 seconds, three to five times. This one is excellent to do before or during the golf session. Go ahead and switch sides for me. Doing it on the other side doesn't hurt, but you definitely wanna get that dominant arm. Okay, so these exercises here are some great ones to get you back on the golf course. Whether you do them at home, getting ready to leave for the course, on the course, or even after you just made a hole. Biggest thing to do is practice good form, stretch these tight muscles. If you're having an off day, it could be due to some of this postural tightness. Loosen up these muscles, get you moving, get ready to swing and hit that hole in one.